that bitch when you cause all this conversation. They know you that bitch when you cause all this conversation. They know you that bitch when you cause all this conversation. Hey guys. So after me and Nia's last video and also after a picture I posted on Instagram, I've been getting bombarded with questions of how I got my hair this way. Now obviously these are faux locks, they've been around for a very long time. But the newest trend of faux locks is having the ends curly like you see here and these are what many people are calling goddess locks and this style is inspired by people like Lisa Bonet who has naturally curly dreadlocks and also Megan Good who rocks her faux locks but she does rock them with natural hair and it looks amazing. Her awesome hairstylist actually posted all of the information on her website and she sells the hair and she also has a hair kit that you can get with it to help you maintain the hair and also a video tutorial on how to install it. But luckily there is a cheaper alternative to the style and you can get the same exact look for a fraction of the cost. And for this style, I want to say I paid like less than 10% of what that kit cost. I paid probably around $40. Yes. $40 to get this entire look that I have been loving so much. Now obviously if you get this look and you get it in black it will look a lot more natural and it may actually even come off as like your natural dreadlocks with curly ends. But me I can never be too normal and I always have to do something that's a little out of the box. I do believe that this look is very beginner friendly. This is not my first time having full locks. I've had them in the past but they just didn't have these curly ends. But I did do them myself and they looked great. They lasted about a month. I learned from that experience a few things. So this time around, I do think these might last a little longer and they did come out a little better. And I'm happy to share that with you this time. So if you're interested in learning how I accomplished this look, then keep watching. <laughs> braiding hair to braid with the curly hair and also to protect your real hair from the somewhat coarse Marley hair. You will also need synthetic curly braiding hair and this will give you the curly look at the end of your braids. I chose two different curl patterns because I didn't want my hair to be too uniform. And of course you will need Marley hair and this is what you will wrap around the individual braid to create the faux lock. And the way you will keep this intact at the bottom is with male glue. Now I always start off with freshly washed, deep conditioned, protein treated, and detangled hair that I let air dry overnight. For each section, I will moisturize it with oil and I'm using superbly restorative argon dry oil by Kiehl's. Now this next step is totally optional. I'm just gonna clip about a fourth of an inch of my hair just because I'm gonna have this hairstyle in for a while and I don't want those jagged ends to turn into split ends. So I just do slight dusting, but it's totally optional. You don't have to do it. Next, you'll separate the hair into the sections that you plan to use. Me, I use rather large sections, so I decide to go based on the plaits that I put in my hair because it just makes it easier. Next, you'll separate your hair so you want your braiding hair to be stretched out so it can be nice and long. And then with your curly hair, you don't want to use that whole piece of curly hair for one braid. So what I did was separate it into about three separate pieces just so the curls on the end will look natural and not just so thick and like weird. Before I get started with my braids, I will cover my hair with some very thick grease and I use that purple Dax grease and then a little Eco Styler gel just to hold down the flyaways in the braid. Now I'm no braiding pro so I can't really tell you how to do an individual braid. to show the process here and you can actually see that my braids aren't super neat and that's perfectly fine because they're going to be wrapped anyway Once my 
braids are all finished, I proceed to wrap my hair with the Marley hair. And this is like the most important part, but also the easiest part. Once you've reached the end of the piece of Marley hair, if you want to add more, you'll just take a new piece, fold it over and begin to wrap over that folded piece until you completely cover it and then proceed downward as you would normally. Now me, I only use one piece of Marley hair per lot, but I did cut the Marley hair in half before starting just to make it more manageable as I wrap down and then I just would add the other half as I continued. Be sure to wrap the Marley hair slightly past where you stop your braid just to ensure that once you add the nail glue you do not get any of your real hair caught in that spot. Now once you've reached the point where you want to stop your lock, you'll cut off any excess hair and continue to wrap down until you only have little strands left. And once you only have little strands left, you'll add some glue and wrap those little strands around that strip where you place that glue and that will lock your goddess lock in place. Now let's try this one more time, just in case you need a refresher. You know you that bitch when you call all this conversation. Ooh, my daddy Alabama. Ooh, my daddy Alabama. Ooh, my daddy Alabama. Ooh, my daddy Alabama. Ooh, my daddy. Ooh, my daddy. Ooh, my daddy. Ooh, my daddy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Shake your dreads however you want just to loosen them up and get them into the proper position that you want them in and you're all done. Took me somewhere between 12 and 18 hours to do this style not including all of the breaks that I took. Be sure to watch our last video if you missed it where we're giving away a Kylie lip kit. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.